In this tutorial, we will begin the first of two parts going into some detail on the Preferences submenu located in the System menu found in the menu bar. Now the GNOME desktop environment, which is the default desktop environment for Ubuntu Linux, provides for the menus uh, in the upper half of the screen. You will see three menus, Applications, Places, and System. Additionally, there are some icons and a clock and a logout button and some other items in this menu bar. In this tutorial, uh, we will begin to take a look at the Preferences submenu found uh, here in the System menu. Now, the Preferences submenu uh, is, is a submenu that is intended to provide little applications and tools and other, and other things to assist with the setting of preferences and configurations and options for several different aspects of the Ubuntu Linux system. Uh, for example, the first item located here in the Preferences submenu is entitled About Me. And uh, this allows one to uh, provide some, to enter in some default information about your user account. And uh, the information that's provided here will then be used in other applications where, where applicable. For example, one can enter in an email address or perhaps a, a home address and other personal information. And that information will be, will be populated in email clients located on the system. So this is a way, if one chooses to use, this is this is really optional, but one can enter in this information here without hopefully having to enter it in again later on. Uh, one can also click this box located next to the name and provide a picture or icon representing uh, the user. And this is also an easy place to go and change the password for this particular user. The next item located in the Preferences submenu is uh, the Assistive te Technology Preferences. And this is for folks who uh, need some assistance uh, with various pieces of the Linux desktop and provides for some tools to assist with, with reading and, and using uh, the system for, for folks who may have uh, physical impairments. Uh, it enables, for example, a, a, an ability to read the screen. Uh, it's a voice that, that sort of reads the screen. Uh, there's a way to uh, set up a magnification system, uh, and you can see an on-screen keyboard, perhaps. Uh, there's some additional items in here for, for folks who may need those tools. The next item under the Preferences uh, submenu is the desktop background. Now, uh, this uh, was also the subject of another tutorial, and this is where one can go to uh, add wallpapers and other backgrounds, or perhaps turn off wallpapers and simply use solid colors on the main desktop environment. This can also be accessed by right-clicking on the desktop and going to Change Desktop Background. That opens up uh, the same tool. The next item under Preferences is one entitled Font. Now this can be very handy uh, for folks who, who may want to really make some, some changes uh, to their fonts uh, on the system. You can see here that, that one can set the default font for several different areas. For example, the default application font, the default document font, the default desktop font, the default window title font, which is the, the font that's used up here in the uh, window title bar, and the default fixed width font for using the terminal and other similar applications. Uh, one can simply click on the box and a new box will open up that allows one to uh, select select different fonts, the, the, the style, and of course the size. And you can see a preview of that down here in the bottom. The uh, Font Preferences uh, dialog box also contains options on the font rendering. Uh, this uh, deals with um, anti-aliasing and other similar font smoothing techniques, and it provides different mechanisms, monochrome, best contrast, best shapes, and sub-pixel smoothing for LCD screens. If one chooses sub-pixel smoothing for LCD screens, one can click on Details and uh, enter in some additional information about the type of hinting and the sub-pixel order and, and things like that. There's also a button to go to the Font Folder, which is a folder in your system that allows where you can easily drag and drop fonts if, if one wants to install new fonts on the system. Uh, the next item under Preferences on the uh, in the System menu is a Keyboard. And uh, this little tool allows one to set things related to the keyboard, such as how fast keys re repeat after a key is held down, how fast the cursor blinks, 
different types of keyboard layouts. Uh, one can add different keyboard layouts and things like that. There's a lot of different different options here to configure one's keyboard. And there's also a link, again, to the accessibility tools that are available for keyboards. Another item in the Preferences menu is Keyboard Shortcuts. And this is a very uh, handy tool uh, to allow one to uh, set key commands to as shortcuts. For example, Launch Web Browser. Right now it doesn't really have much of a, of a uh, shortcut, but one can simply easily enter in a key command, such as you can see down here, Alt F2 or Alt F1. One can enter perhaps Control B or, or Control F10. Any kind of combinations on things to launch the, uh, the default web browser. And and as you can see, there's lots of other uh, key shortcuts here for Windows and launching the music player and changing the volume and muting the volume and all, all kinds of things here. These are all kinds of keyboard shortcuts that can be used.